Hello and welcome to Shockwaves. I'm one of your hosts, Rob Galuzzo. This is... Howard Kane. Ryan Turek. And Rebecca McKendry. And we are thrilled to be here because we're going to be doing... We're going to be announcing the winners to this year's 2020 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards, what? which is something I love uh, partaking in myself. Uh, okay. And just so you know, it's not our choice. This is all voted by you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so don't come screaming at us. Don't yell at us. We have, this is the winners right here. We have no idea what they are. We're going to go through this together. Uh, and at it, what age were you voting? What was the youngest you were voting on the Chainsaw Wars? How, how young were you when you first voted? I don't remember, but it had to be whenever whenever I first started Fangoria. So yeah. probably late teens. I would like hand write my answers yeah. in very delicately. Put the little check bar – Check mark next to the box. Send it in. So fun thing. I got to tally them later. Oh. Um, So yeah, once I started working at Fangoria, (laughs) I only did it for one year. Um, But then one year I got to be when we did like a big giant televised show. But um, then a lot of the other times I got to, to tally. Which That's is what I always want. Fun. I want a big tuxedo, all the horror stars. I want this to be the big show. I tried well, to convince the guys to wear year. a tuxedo tonight. I don't know yeah. why they didn't. Oh, oh man. In tuxedo. You're, yeah, so am I. <laughs> I wore, a, totally I wore a shirt with a collar today. on it. I figured that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> you look all fancy. So, uh, all right, so let's dive in because I'm very yeah. excited about this. Let's so we're going to go from the top card, which is Best Kill. Best Kill. Um, there are no nominees for this. This is something that was written in by fans from everything that came out last year so let's pull the card here we go should Rob, we be you speculating read this on our best kills uh yeah because you know what i i don't even know what i'd pick do you have anything in particular that stood out best last kill. year i mean i keep thinking of the year before with strangers, the strangers too. Before. yeah that was such a good kill <laughs> that but that was the year one. before uh, um from last okay. year things that were some really good kills from last i year. think i might have put elizabeth moss in us uh, oh yeah, my god that was that a was brilliant the Beach Boys. Yeah, i feel like pretty fantastic. bear suit is just a given well this is going to be a spoiler obviously <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one might be too, too hard so here we go let's see what the best kill was this year oh, this is very is. best kill without any hesitation oh. is midsummer christian in the bear suit on fire so, yeah. on got fire. it said. So but I saw it coming a mile away. Well, we all saw. I mean, but we all saw it coming. I've seen Wicker Man, so I saw it, it coming. It was still voted the yeah, best no, by everybody. So. <laughs> we knew someone was going to burn. Yeah. Uh, all right, Elric, why don't you take the next right. card in the next uh, category? The next category, a favorite amongst all, best creature effects. Cool. Uh, and the nominees are Steve Boyle for Boar, uh, which was on Shutter, uh, Todd Masters for Child's Play, mm-hmm. Adrian Morrow, The Lighthouse, mm-hmm. uh, Neville Page, Sweetheart. Dan Rebert, Itsy Bitsy. Hey. And yeah. Spectral Motion for Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys love? Oh. Very talented folk. What would your what do you love? I think Moreau does incredible work. Um, I'm a big fan of Neville Page's design work. Mm-hmm. Um, and Spectral Motion always does great fabrication, creature fabrication. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I don't the, know. It's hard. Yeah, the stuff in scary movies is great. And yeah. I love the creature in Sweetheart. Uh, Itsy Bitsy did have a really cool spider. In it. Yeah, I, I gotta so. say, I really liked Itsy Bitsy, and it's not just because I'm big into my bug horror. I I enjoyed the spider in Itsy Bitsy a lot, and yeah. um, even I I thought that a lot of the segments in Scary Stories were some of my favorite of the year, including Harold, which was just that's probably fantastic. my favorite. Harold yeah, I, th- I think they they translated that stuff mm-hmm. yeah. beautifully. Yeah. So. All right. If there was more in the lighthouse, I would have liked it even more because I loved what I got. All right. And the winner of Best Creature Effects goes to Spectral Motion for Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Well done. Yeah, Hold it up so they know that you're not so you know it's true. You're not making it up. <laughs> My kills all day. Congratulations. Cool. Very cool. All right, okay. Ryan, the next card, which is? All right. Nominees for Best Makeup Effects. Cool. Brittany Federline and Marcelo AMP, The Night Shifter. Mike Marino for The Dead Don't Die, Dan Martin for Girl on the Third Floor, Josh and Sierra Russell for Bliss, Woo. Brian Spears and Peter Gurner for Depraved. Ooh, Ooh, that was, that was a good Yeah, that was time. a good one. But I got to say, I really enjoyed The Night Shifter as well. That really? had a really, a lot of really cool effects in it. But then again, I did just finish a project with Josh and Sierra Russell, so uh, go I, Russell. I, yeah, I there's stuff in Bliss. Last year, yeah. And they won the creature design for last year for the for rich one. I remember voting for oh, them. Oh, wow. But I got to say, the, the one thing is, is Travis's film, Girl on Third Floor, the one, one of the real takeaways there is some of the use of all the effects and all the makeup oh, yeah. and the stuff. Yeah, the, especially for the that house. Finale. And, yeah, so it's, wow. I feel like it was kind of pretty virtuoso, so I'll be curious. Another tough call. Here we are. 
the winner. Oh, you already got I gave it to him, yeah. For best makeup effects goes to Mike Marino for The Dead Don't Die. Hey, wow. wow. Okay. That's interesting. Iggy Pop did look pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't even effects. know if he was in makeup. Zombie I think effects. that was just Iggy Pop. Swill and coffee. I'm a little surprised that many people saw this one, you know, yeah. in the horror community, like the Jarmusch film. That's kind of surprising. I just watched it. I actually really liked it quite a bit. Uh, oh, right. really? We should yeah. talk about that. Yeah, we okay. will. Yes. We will. Next Zombie episode. Effects ruled 2019. Wow. Okay. All right. So next up is what? This is for best score. Great. Cavern of Antimatter from In Fabric. Yeah. The Haxen Cloak from Midsummer. Yeah. Mark Corvin, The Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. The Newton Brothers, Dr. Sleep. Or Simon Waskow from Luz. All good. All All good good. stuff, guys. I've been listening to a lot of Newton Brothers. uh, Me too. Yeah, Dr. Sleep was amazing. And I also was a really big fan of In Fabric. In Fabric, all the way. Yeah, Yeah, I've been trying to find uh, find the In Fabric score on Spotify, but I can't find it. Oh, really? Uh, There's one one very specific track in there that I absolutely love. And I just like played back the scene just so I can listen to it. Yeah. So good. Well, perhaps. This might it push might it win. Forward. Let's see. Let's oh, score. Oh, oh, they even got fancy stickers on this. Yeah. I'm predicting Nuts. Dr. Sleep. And the winner <laughs> is Hacks and Cloak Midsummer. Whoa. Oh, all right. Very That's nice. pretty cool. Way to go. And that is the second win for, for Midsummer. Midsummer. Oh, Midsummer. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. That's makes exciting. Sense. All right. So far. All right. So now we are up to best screenplay, which is the next <laughs> one. So we've got uh, the nominees are Ari Oster for Midsummer, mm-hmm. uh, Guy Busick and Ryan Murphy for Ready or Not. Uh, Mike Flanagan for Dr. Sleep, Jordan Peele for Us, or Shin Inchiro Udo for One Cut of the Dead. Oh, that's a good this is actually God, a this really is so tough one. hard because I'm somewhere between Dr. Sleep and One Cut of the Dead, and those could not be more different. I'm 100% you know, in for Us. Uh, us is Total pre- originality. Great, yeah. Us and One Cut yeah. of the Dead are my picks, although I do love Ready or Not. So yeah. This is, but yeah, I think that the fan favorite is going to be Ready or Not because that was um, a massively well-received movie yeah, that of was. the year. And that's yeah. actually one of the most clever films. But mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Best, Best screenplay, screenplay goes to – and it goes to Ari Oster from Midsummer. Wow. wow. Midsummer is cleaning up. With horror fans. There you wow, go. Wow, that's pretty Dig cool it. actually. Dig it. Oh, that's my favorite. Always my favorite category. Uh, best director. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, some Already. good ones here. Yeah, we're going early. <laughs> um, Ben Affleck for <laughs> uh, no, a different year. Uh, Ari Aster for Midsummer. Yeah. Uh, Joe Bigos for Bliss. Hey. Robert Eggers. Guest of the show on the lighthouse, Mike Flanagan, Doctor Sleep, Jordan Peele, Us, and Shinchiro Ueda. Is it uh, for One Cut of the Dead? This is so tough, man. This is I think tough. Flanagan directed the hell out of Doctor mm-hmm. Sleep. I'm yeah. all for Flanagan um, on this one. Uh, I, I love Jordan. I love One Cut of the Dead. And actually, I, I, I do. Know. I just watched Bliss on uh, Shutter, and I thought Joe did an amazing job. Mm-hmm. I, I do think Bliss the, the, is pretty terrific. Where that film goes is pretty remarkable. Yeah. I like think the last twenty minutes is like. <laughs> I'm there, pretty are, sure. there are a lot of filmmakers on here who demonstrated with early films that they were ones to watch, and this time around. Mm-hmm. They are filmmakers who have um, matured in their craft. So I think they're all on par with one another. They're all big swings. Of, yeah, they're all yeah. big yeah. swings. And I think Midsommar yeah. and us being the two yeah. kind of most obviously big And there's swings. only two we haven't had on the show. So now we got um, squad goals. <laughs> yeah, no, we do. Uh, I'm going to predict – us. Don't predict. Let's I'm, see. Let's I like see. predicting. Let's That's, see. That's the fun part. We'll turn it towards the camera. Uh, well, oh. you'll never believe it, but the winner is Ari Aster. For Midsummer. Midsummer. Again. Holy shit, that is clean. Wow. Yeah, that astounding Ernie behind the scenes. I know. He's like, yeah, he's, I can't believe it. He's like Midsummer, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. The nominees for Best Supporting Actress are Kylie Curran for Dr. Sleep, Zoe mm-hmm. Deutsch for Zombieland, Double Tap, one of Rob G's favorites of 2019. It's good. It's good. Rebecca Ferguson for Dr. Sleep. Oh, yes. Marianne Jean Baptiste in Fabric and Ruby Modine hey. in Satanic Panic. So was was Marianne Jean Baptiste uh, is that the lead from she's the first she's section? In the first story. Yeah. She yeah. is ter- that, that's I didn't like the movie as a whole, After but that. I thought her performance was incredible. Really, really yeah. good. Loved yeah. um, both Rebecca Ferguson and Kylie Curran and Dr. Sleep. Rebecca Ferguson yeah. to me was like one of the most home she run roles I've seen Rose, in years. right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. the hat. Yeah. The hat. Yeah. Just yeah. incredible, I think. Yeah. So. Just so here we go. Ryan, let okay. us know. Okay. The winner, Best Supporting Actress, is Rebecca Ferguson uh, for Dr. Rose Sleep. Rose the hat. I love it. That's Rose the hat. She was great. Yep. All right. Not surprising. Okay. Next up, Best Supporting Actor, Alex... Brew? 
Bruez. Bruez. Rex. Brex. Rex. Sorry, Alex. I apologize, <laughs> Alex. But you're in Depraved. <laughs> Alex from Depraved. Willem Dafoe, The Lighthouse. Bill Hader, It Chapter Two. Oh. John Lithgow, Pet nice. Cemetery. Yeah. And Jackson Robert Scott from The Prodigy. Wow. Yeah, this song is here. I love Willem Dafoe, but I will. Bill Hader in It Chapter Two is pretty spectacular. Oh, I'm in on Dafoe in the Lighthouse for this one. Dafoe? Uh, Dafoe, uh, Dafoe does. Sold you with his fart jokes, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> nah, the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> They're not jokes. He was just farting. You know? <laughs> that was, that's uh, what they call method. The question with that is did enough people see the Lighthouse? That's the hard thing I, to answer. Yeah, I don't like, know. I think they did. Yeah. I, was, I think, yeah, I think it did pretty well. I mean, same yeah. with Depraved. You'll have to. Well, yeah. We'll see. I mean, I'm, Depraved is awesome, but yeah, yeah, I don't know if it had quite as big a reception as something like It Chapter 2 or Pet Cemetery. Yeah. All right. So. Do you have okay. the card? I don't. Will it be Barry? That's yours. the question. Will it, Will it be you. a Barry Award? Okay. A Barry. <laughs> and the winner is Willem Dafoe for The Lighthouse. Oh, I, I guess I was I just see proven, that movie. I guess, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. I just I think about Willem Dafoe getting this skull thing when because you know, so cool. the actual yeah. award I hope I think about Willem gonna, Dafoe in a daily. film where he farts I love that it's going to go on his coffee table I wake up and think about Willem Dafoe. okay so we're up to best actress uh, so the nominees are uh, Kiersey Clemens from Sweetheart Yay. Uh, mm-hmm. Caitlin Gerard from The Wind That's good mm-hmm. really uh, Lupito Nyong'o from Us. Uh, Florence Pooh from Midsummer and Samara Weaving from Ready or Not. <laughs> I love this is all tough because all of these are yeah. pretty darn terrific. I have to say I love Kiersey Clemens from Sweetheart just because it was her by herself, like a one woman show for over 70% yeah. of the movie. Um, and she gave a hell of a performance. Yeah. And Samara Fable, I mean, Weaving. Caitlin, well, Caitlin Gerard was also basically a one woman show yeah. for the bulk of the movie. And it was just a great, great experience. And Lupita so. Nyong'o was like, Taking big swings with mm-hmm. what her performance. She was doing two parts. Yeah. yeah. Getting you know? to play she, the villain. She's That's my pick, especially since she didn't pick, get any yeah. Oscars and, recognition. But at the same time, how do you weigh that against Florence Pugh, yeah. who spent Incredible. most of her <laughs> time on screen crying and going yep. through so much pain and anxiety? Yeah. And, and she could be the only one who could win an Oscar and a chainsaw in the same year because she's nominated <laughs> for Little Woman. So, so let's, see. Uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Best be actress. Exciting. Here we go. And the yes. winner is Lapita for correct us. Choice. Lapita. Yes. Yeah. She's richly earned. Nicely done. All right, right. which brings us to nominees for Best Actor. Hey. We have Winston Duke in Us, my favorite dad. Uh, (laughs) Leif Edlin Johansson from uh, Coco di Coco Da. Uh Uh-huh. You haven't seen Coco di Coco Da? I have not. None of us have. Uh, I've seen it. What? Yeah, this movie's Why haven't you shared it with us? Has this been Uh, released? Somebody's been holding Uh, out on us. Can we watch it on Amazon? don't know yet. The biggest surprise of the Chainsaw Awards (laughs) was this (laughs) nomination. (laughs) Tell us about it. Uh, What's it about? Just so we know. It's kind of like a Groundhog Day movie. Yeah. Okay. It's about it. It's basically about these uh, uh, this couple who go off into the woods and then they encounter uh, three travelers, one who's carrying a cane and kind of like a, he's very, dressed very fancily, a big behemoth of a guy who's carrying a dead dog. And then I think it's a woman. I saw it at Sundance it and I saw like it under very strange joke. conditions. <laughs> but uh, it's insane. We'll talk about it off, okay. camera, off camera. Well, right. I apologize, Leaf. You didn't get my vote because I didn't know about this. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You still have a chance. Uh, uh, Ewan McGregor for Dr. Sleep. Uh, Daniel D. Oliveira for The Night Shifter. Really and, uh, good. Robert yeah. Pattinson for The Lighthouse. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm a huge huge Winston Duke fan, man. I got to say, he was one of my favorite dads on screen. So good. Oh. Yeah. Super cool. So let's see what happens. Though Ewan, obviously, big role. And the winner is... Oh! The surprise. Pattinson in The Lighthouse. Oh, I like to see The Lighthouse. I'm glad to get him some love. Yeah. 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 And horror, too. Yeah. 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 All right. The nominees for best series series are Are You Afraid of the Dark? Castle Rock? Creep Show? Into the Dark? Marianne and Stranger Things wow. season three. Is that Castle Rock season one? That's Castle no, Rock. No, the new one. Season, season two. Oh, the one that last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Stranger Things is going to win just purely because it has become such kind of a pop culture um, purveyor. But that said, Marianne is freaking good. amazing. Pretty, I'm surprised you no know, um, Haunting of Hill House is on here. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was the year before. Mm. No, I think that was last year. Right? Mm. Oh, no. no, no right. I think it was the year before because it was, it was my top Halloween. ten Halloween. It was Halloween. Yeah, that was totally right. Then uh, I strike that from the record. Um, okay. Well, let's see who is the winner of 
best series, and that is Becca was correct, Stranger Things. Woohoo! Yeah. Which was a really good so, season. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was a, a great season. Oh, it was the one where they threw all the money at it. Yeah. yeah. Big monster <laughs> effects. You get a mall, guys. A mall. A, mall. A, mall. <laughs> a mall and fireworks. I loved it. The nominees. Nom- nominees. Nom- nominees? <laughs> the nominees for best feature. First feature? First feature, thank you. For best first feature. Let me do this whole thing over again. (laughs) The nominees for best first feature. All right. Braid, Mitzi Perone. Darling, Pollyanna McIntosh. Wow. Girl on the Third Floor from Travis Stevens. Wow. Hole in the Ground from Lee Cronin. And The Wind from Emma Tammy. Hmm. There's some good stuff here. Yeah. I, I like that it's all emerging stuff. Yeah. Uh, Hole in the Ground was really atmospheric. Yep. You know, no, yeah. I loved the wind. I yeah. thought it was great. And Ho- Girl on the Third Floor had a uh, lot of. I feel like anything goes. Yeah, anything goes. Yeah. Yeah. Shift, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's, let's see. see here. Best and first the winner feature. for best first feature is Girl on the Third Floor. Hey, oh, Travis. Nice. Yeah, yeah, go, Travis. Buddy. Go, Travis. It's very cool. Shooting a movie now, probably right or something. Yeah, I think yeah. he's starting a new movie. Yeah. So well done. Uh, okay, so now we have Best Foreign Movie. Mm. Excellent. Oh, I like this one. Uh, so the first one is an Elric favorite, Hagazusa. Yes. Is that how you say that? Right. Yeah. Uh, the second, curse. <laughs> second one is Knife Knife Plus Heart. Yep. One of my faves. Uh, mm-hmm. Coco di Coco da. I, I guess, guess it is uh, out. There you go. It is out. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. Uh, uh, Luz uh, like on Luz, Shudder. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, one Cut of the Dead, which is all of uh, Shockwaves approved. Yeah. And last week's guest, uh, yeah. Tigers Are Not Afraid, also Shudder exclusive. Hard not to put our love behind Tigers. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. Tigers in One Cut. Is, I'm going to say One Cut, guys. I, I, mean, I, I literally four of my favorites from last yeah, year. Yeah, Knife Plus right. Heart was on uh, my top ten list. But yeah, I'm going to go One Cut. All right. So the best foreign movie goes to Tigers Are Not Afraid. Yeah, Isa. Oh, Good job. Nice. Lisa. Well done, Isa. Isa's still here, so let's just yeah, yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll look at her. her. <laughs> All, All right. right. Uh, the award I always get most exciting for, best streaming movie premiere. premiere? Wow. All right. <laughs> best streaming premiere <laughs> movie, which is going to become the most important award anyway uh, in the future. So <laughs> here we go because everything's streaming. Bye-bye theaters. Uh, here we go. Eli. Which yeah. Happens? That's a, a Kieran Ford's yeah. movie. Yeah. It was on Netflix yep. and it's pretty good. One mm-hmm. you guys all loved in the tall grass. I yep. really Chins enjoyed that one. Uh-huh. Me too. Uh, Little Monsters. Yeah. Becca's oh, so I, had, well, I was on yeah. my top 10 from also last year. Lupita. Yep. In fact, these are all your first. Uh, yeah, the Night these, Shifter. Actually, <laughs> you should be reading this. Out of all of these, there's only one that was not on my top 10 for the year. The Perfection, which is one of your favorites. That was my number uh, six. And Velvet Buzzsaw. My number 10. Bonkers <laughs> Gyllenhaal. So uh, I, you, you've seen all of these. You, you tell us what your pick because you've seen all of these. Honestly, they're all so vastly different and they're all my faves. So this makes it more difficult. Like I feel like the perfection would be inclined to win just because it was such a big – um, kind of pop culture phenomenon mm-hmm, yeah. where a yeah. lot of people that first watched weekend. it. It blew, like my mom watched it <laughs> and things and called me and asked me about why I recommended her watch it and things yeah. like that. Um, but like, I think I had the most fun with little monsters, but I think in tall grasses is, is really strong for the win. Wow. Yeah. It was a tough call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the winner, Elric? I'm predicting the perfection, but <laughs> I, I'm pretty, I'm going to predict that too. I, think. I mean, it's super, super fun. Okay. And the winner for best streaming premiere movie goes to, the perfection. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Wow. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the nominees for best limited release movie. Oh my are god. Bliss. Nice. Daniel isn't real. Great one. Mm-hmm. In Fabric. Yeah. The Lighthouse. Nightmare Cinema. Hey. And Satanic Panic. Ooh, Chelsea. Okay. Yeah. This is yeah. This is a tough call this as is well. A toughie. So I'm just gonna. But limited release means it still had to be in cinemas, right? Yeah, yeah. it ran. So all of these did. Winner for best limited release movie is The Lighthouse. Oh, yeah. oh man. Light it's Summer in the summer. Lighthouse, cleaning up. Yeah, interesting. That's okay. pretty cool. Both in conversation and Last category category magazine. Story, guys. This Last is category. it. What? Best wide release movie. Oh, all right. The now nominees are Crawl. So good. Doctor Sleep, mm-hmm. It Chapter Two, mm-hmm. Midsummer, Ready or Not, or Us. 
Well, I think I know where this is going. I, I mean, don't know. I can't predict these fans. They're I voted can't. on this now. It's going to be alligators. It's, it's going to be crawl. It's gonna be crawl deserves. I, I would have voted here. for crawl. You would have, but yeah. no, actually, uh, Doctor Sleep may have been up there too. I would vote Doctor Sleep. I think us has a good chance, but honestly, Midsummer has surprised like me. Yeah, Midsummer's really. Clean if there's a narrative here. to these Oscars, yes. it feels like it's, it's a chainsaw. Like uh, Ari might okay. uh, rule the Fango right. chainsaw. Okay, okay. let's see. Best wide release movie is. Midsummer. Wow. Whoa. Wow. They have cleaned that. up today. A24? Wow. Yeah. What's that? A24 party? A24. Yeah. A24. All right. Yeah, there you go. We're going to the A24 party? Yeah, we are now. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if he's watching, Dude. we are. <laughs> yeah, wow. Congratulations to Ari Aster. Well, That's congratulations to everyone. Oh, yeah. the winners. The winners. And the winners. This year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we really appreciate this. Uh, thank you for watching. Obviously, like Fangoria and all the social medias. Uh, we are the Shockwaves podcast, so definitely subscribe to Shockwaves. And we are on all the social medias as... Shockwaves podcast. It's very pod, it's just very like pod podcast. on Twitter. I it's think. a gamble. Twitter, Facebook. Just start Instagram. typing Shockwaves and you'll yeah. find us. Look up so, yeah. Shockwaves. Watch the Ken Weeder horn film and come back to us. <laughs> <laughs> no connection whatsoever. No, none, none whatsoever. Uh, Nazi zombies. Come on. But this is fun, and hopefully next year we could do a, a bigger version of this. That's that's the hope. This is the beginning. I'll get them in a tux yep. yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah hard tux. <laughs> it's gonna be great. We'll yeah. see you next year. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks, see ya. guys.